Well, finally got the gables, the eaves and soffit, all that stuff done. Long, tedious, kind of boring work once you get at it, but uh, very necessary, very critical. Make sure there's no critters like, you know, bats and stuff get in your roof. So it's really important work and it has to uh, provide ventilation to your, to your roof as well. Sun's poking through, it's getting a little warmer. I'm not gonna lie, uh, on a morning like this before the sun comes up sometimes, snow on the ground and it's cold, it's below freezing. Sometimes it's hard to get going, you know, and uh, it just provides for a slow start sometimes, but that's part of it. I I'm used to that. I've worked in the cold before, no matter what it is, so uh, you just put your mind to it and you, you keep going. And it's going to get warmer throughout this week. And I know that there are people, a lot of people in this world, who would give anything and everything that they have this morning. To be right here doing this right here now this is thanksgiving weekend and i'm very thankful for everything that i have i consider myself to be blessed and uh, my buddy always said to me chuck you live a charmed life and uh, i agree with him this is a uh, it could be a lot worse anyway we got all that stuff done now it's time to focus on those windows hey weirdos This is what I'm facing this morning. Uh, these windows, this is one that the company did for me. And they'll do for whoever purchases a cabin to show you how it's done. But, uh, you know, obviously the window is in here. I have to build my own facings uh, to go uh, to encase this window. That's step one. And then once I get that done, I got to face the side of the cabin and I'll show you now like uh, where the logs are rounded on the ends of course they have to be uh, uh, flattened out so that I can produce a nice seal behind this one as it attaches to the cabin little uh, sneak peek at the color that my cabin will be uh, there's no there's no uh, finish on this yet that's just the, the basic stain uh, but it's a nice color so again, they just did the whole thing for me to uh, get me on the go. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six windows to do. And uh, I think I'll start with this one because this one is the smallest one, just to get a feel for it. Okay, I lucked it with these windows. All the windows on the front are the exact uh, perfect size openings to install the windows. That's where my patio door is going. These two windows here, this is a spare bedroom and this is the kitchen. I have to make some uh, modifications. It has to be uh, opened wider, uh, top and bottom here. So there's a way to do that. I have a chainsaw there that I'll use, but I won't use regular oil in the chainsaw. I'll use cooking oil. That way it won't stain any of the logs if any of the oil uh, gets splattered off of the chain. It's a bit unnerving to take a chainsaw to your log cabin that you just put together. So I'm gonna make sure I measure this three times instead of two times. Uh, the opening has to be one inch wider each way. So again, it's fine width wise. I just have to open it up so that uh, it it's accommodates or fits it up and down. Maybe I'll measure it four times. I think I'll choose just to come down uh, at four inches right here uh, because that is a bit higher, so it'll kind of bring it down to a nice level. Can't believe I'm going to do this. Here we go. Myself a brand new two inch chisel here. I think it's two inch. Great thing is, this is pine. 
pine chips or chisels really nicely. Thought about an axe, why not? At least on that top section, right? Sure. That's not bad. That might took me about uh, 10 or 12 minutes, I guess. Bit of a low spot there. It's the way the wood uh, chunked out, but that doesn't matter because I'm going to put lots of caulking and uh, expanding foam insulation. And you're giving lots of forgiveness here, right? You're giving about four inches here all the way around. So actually a little bit of room would be better. Just got to make sure that when we put it in there, it's level and squared up in the hole. And the hole looks uh, good there right now. I'm just going to dry fit this one from the inside now, cheat for a second, just to make sure it fits. Perfect. wise man once said think like water you know you are well I almost forgot here you see that the I mentioned before the logs are rounded of course so they got to be uh, that little bit at the end has to come off to accommodate the, a flat surface for the window um, frame to seat on properly Okay, so that's the exact size of that window. I got her put in and leveled up. Now I'm gonna trace it out. And that way I can just see it exactly the way it's gonna sit. And make sure that I'm gonna cut this frame out as best as I can. And now, that is the exact measurement of the frame of that window but of course we need some wiggle room and room for some caulking uh, sealant to go around there so I'm going to take about a quarter of an inch more all the way around so that way we can completely seal it off from the water well shingles are working on good of course all that stuff is running right down my neck right now gotta love it Now I put this stick here because I know that my saw blade can run right up against here now and it'll cut that line out right where I want it. Now I put the depth of my saw at about 5 eighths which is about the depth of the curve of that pine. So bad. Do that with the rest of them now, and then I'll have a nice flat surface to put my window facing on. Ah, little nip. Well, that one's all done. Yeah, it don't have to be pretty. 
is a knot there, but the, you're working with wood. Next step, put some concrete around there and uh, pop the window in. I'm anxious to see how it's going to fit now. just nicely and we got that little gap now all the way around and I'll just fill it up with cocking now and uh, she'll be done level opens good perfect going to keep on going around the cabin putting in the windows I got four in now but we got this uh, freaky little warm stretch of weather coming which is highly unusual for Labrador this time of the year I did not think uh, I was gonna get any stain on this year although it's highly recommended to do so uh, but anyway priorities change I can put the windows in when it gets cold but I can't apply stain if it's freezing or under so switching gears here we go now this stain comes with the kit as well as the uh, brushes and apparently this is a all natural bristle brush all natural bristle brush whatever that means but it's supposed to be the best and also you can take the handle off and put it onto a broom handle so that's pretty thoughtful i thought so here we go first brush of stain this works out. Whoa! Take it easy, Porter. Get outside <laughs> and enjoy.